So here it is, my 2019 Diamond Cargo 5x10 trailer with the blackout package and mag rims. So this is my new baby for DJing. If you guys haven't had the chance to make the investment in a trailer, I highly recommend it. You will thank me over and over and over, and I'm glad I made the investment. So let me take you guys through this and show you what I got in here. So first thing you know, it's got the mag rims. This trailer is lime green. It is loud, it stands out. If you're a DJ for me, once I leave the house, the show is on until I come back home, and this trailer is all a part of that show. Uh, so when the light hits this thing, it is absolutely crazy. The bride and groom and the wedding party will know when you're there. And for I got a couple other cool things I'm going to show you, they will know when you leave. So let's check this out. So first things first, the trailer I got brand new. When I got it, everything was all wood. Let me turn the lights on in here for you guys. Don't mind my dirty garage. It's all part of a working man. So first off, notice the light show LEDs. Um, I put these LEDs in here, and if you notice, I install them on this side of the bar, so this is front of the trailer here. I installed it here, so when you're in the back of the trailer, you don't actually see the LEDs, you just see the ambient glow, and it looks really pretty, and I thought that was much better. I see a lot of people mount them around the sides, or they'll do them facing straight down. This is so much cooler, and it just looks nice. It just complements everything. So, um, yeah, so this trailer, it's got the side door here, which is handy for loading up. Uh, I added a a jack with a wheel on it so I can move it around super easy. This trailer only weighs 980 pounds. So this is amazing. And this thing is like decked out front to back. So I put in some E-Track top and bottom. You guys, you got to put E-Track in your trailer. You can mount anything anywhere. It just makes it so much easier. You can have systems for loading your stuff in there. And I... You know, just recommend it. It's a little pricey, but you know what? It helps in the long run. This is a business. This is all part of an investment. It's all part of a show. And, uh, you know, you're an entertainment. So, you know, everything you do, your trailer, everything represents your business and your company. Um, so what I did, I first painted the entire trailer white. You know, I painted the floors white, walls white, did a couple coats of that. This is outside um, paint, mold resistant. So it's designed to be an outside weather. I am lucky enough to have a garage where I can store my trailer. So this has seen rain maybe once, but it won't see any snow or anything like that, um, which is awesome. So the floor, you probably can't see it on the video, but I use um, a very light gray. This is anti-skid paint, so it's got little rivets in it. So when it's rain, you won't slip all over the place. So I triple coated that, and I also put some clear coat over it to protect that. And so this floor is really nice. Actually, when the light hits it, you can barely see the sparkles, but when the light hits it, these sparkles all stand out. I mixed some sparkles in that paint as well, which is super awesome. And I painted it white to make all the LEDs light stand out. And I put on black E-Track to go with the blackout package of the trailer. So everything on the trailer is light green, black, blackout package, black bottom, black mag wheels. Just beautiful. Get it in black. It's beautiful. Um, you got an extra wheel. Just mounted it right there. Always need that just in case. And the flap down here, show you guys this. So the top of it is painted as well with that sparkly. You can kind of see the sparkles a little bit there. Um, and then the back, the trailer's all undercoated, which is nice. So I gave it a little extra. I used some uh, Flex Seal and sprayed that on there. Really nice, keeps it protected. And, um, you know, I think in I may actually end up epoxying this floor only because you know even though it's got the triple coats when we did a gig the other week you can see some of that's coming up so I'm gonna end up epoxying this but for now this is nice you know very cool and it's very worth it actually funny story the reason I just bit the bullet and bought the trailer is because I used to rent from U-Haul a lot of stuff and it was cheaper, 15 to 30 bucks, depending on the bigger trailer you need. I usually rent like a 5x8 for them. And I had two weddings back to back. And then U-Haul go to show up the day to get the wedding. And U-Haul had messed up my order, so they didn't have a trailer for me. So I had to drive half an hour to another U-Haul to find a trailer. It put me way behind. 
you know, the gigs were fine. We weren't late, but definitely something that just really irritated me. So, you know, bit the bullet, bought a trailer, and been happy ever since. And the only regret is that I didn't do this sooner. So, um, so this is awesome. And I got something else to show you guys as well. So this just looks really nice. We did a wedding with this the other week and got a lot of compliments because when you pull up and you've got the um, you've got the trailer all lit up and you're loading, everyone's just like, "Whoa, that's crazy!" And what makes this extra awesome is this. So we put the underglows on there. And the underglows, this all goes to music. So let's see if we can make some noise. So Loading up and unloading is all part of the show as well. And this just looks super nice. It's awesome. People love it. And if you got battery power solutions, you can play a little bit of music inside the trailer while you're packing and uh, loading, unloading. And everybody just loves it. And it kind of keeps the party going afterwards. So the last thing I want to quickly show you guys, and I'll post some pictures up here for you to see as well is how we did the power solution. So a lot of people hook up batteries and I didn't really didn't want like a battery in here. It's like a little bit dangerous. And why don't we deal with all that stuff? So what I actually did is I use these little um, batteries that work off of, um, let me set the lights to white here. There we go. So the lights can be can controlled um, all types of ways. I can do any color I want. I can make it go to the music, do anything. Um, so these here, these are just um, batteries that power drill, 12 volt batteries. So let me turn off the underglows here. Now the wiring is a little crazy here. I haven't decided how I want to fully cover it. But all this is, it's a little DeWalt 12 volt drill battery, little power display on the battery. It's on this side here. Flip that over for you guys to see. So. You know, and then they've got these adapters here, um, just little DeWalt adapters, and all these do, you just slide right in there, and there you go. And now you got power. So put two of the two of those on there, one for the interior, one for the exterior. They last a long time. Put a nice little switch in here, interior, exterior, and good to go. Mount at the remote. I will deal with this rat nest of wiring later, but I haven't figured out what I want to do with it. So there it is, guys. You know, that's my trailer here. Got some E-Track. It's all done in black. Nice tire mounted, you know, E-Track up top. E-Track on the B-Nose. Got the tripod mounted there. So, you know, got the 6,000 pound. Like, it's overkill for these tie downs. But, hey, you know, you better be safe than sorry when you're on the road. So, so yeah, that's it. That is my trailer so i'll post some pictures up for you guys to see as well and we'll get some uh, show you guys this in action so thank you guys for watching i'll have more videos for you guys a lot of different things coming up so make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe